today's look is going to be a very neutral summer look. Might not be very neutral to some of you, but it is neutral to me because to me, summer is all about color and highlight and bronzing and all that good stuff. But this is very toned down version of that. Um, like I said, this is my take on it. And so, yeah, I do not have a lot to say. Um, just, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. I'm trying these two out, and I went ahead and got a medium and light medium because light medium is too light and medium is just too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these. Since this is a natural, well, natural, neutral, um, makeup look I'm using a BB cream especially for the summer this will help you out a lot because foundation sometimes can be too heavy and this will just make your life so much better <sighs> before I put that I totally forgot I'm gonna go ahead and use my L'Oreal youth co texture perfector pore vanisher I used to use this a lot before my Revlon primer but I switched to that and I got hooked to it. But I'm using this since I'm using the BB cream because this, um, it is a good primer and then it also has a little bit of a tint to it. Whereas the Revlon primer is just white. And put it on my face. And I'm so used to doing my brows first, but I wanted to try something different since I'm doing new products and same thing with this talk through video because I hate doing talk through videos because I feel like they drag on and on that's why I wanted to do a chit chat video because I feel like I talk forever and ever about so many things and that's why mine end up being long uh, anyways so yeah I'm going to use my Sigma F80 flat top to go ahead and put that all over Oh, come on, all over my face. <gasps> Even then, my hair is just... And use the uh, Hard Candy Gamouflage Concealer, and mine is in the shade light on the back of my hand, too. And then the brush to apply it. I'm gonna go ahead and use this angled brush from BH Cosmetics and just put that under my eyes. It's so pigmented, it's amazing use this to highlight also. Blend it out with my real technique sponge. It just went too light for me. This is also a new product that I got. Let me get work. Um, might have put too much on. <laughs> brush just to make sure there's no harsh lines because it was looking pretty crazy. I'm gonna go to use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Translucent. Yeah, it's in trans what's it the, the finishing rider, it's in translucent. I'm gonna pick it up with the real technique sponge and just but on my concealer, I usually tend to crease sometimes under my eyes, especially around my mouth, because I'm always smiling a lot. This was the first translucent powder I ever kno knowed. Oh my goodness, owned. Um, even before I got the e.l.f. translucent powder, and it's really, really, really good. 
I recommend it. Any bronzer and face, I'm gonna go ahead and be using my NYC Sunny bronzer. Not contour, we're just gonna go ahead and bronze up all our face. go ahead I own Milani's Luminoso blush that I picked up Rose Dear Oro and it's so funny I'm gonna try it out and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to oh my god it's okay I just like put a lot on my brush I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it um we'll go ahead and apply it right here and just bring it back I don't want to apply it to my apples. I'm just gonna go in with a big fluffy face brush and just blend that. It's on with our face. I'm gonna move on to eyebrows use my elf eyebrow kit. So now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my e.l.f. e.l.f. primer. Ow. My finger. Yep. I've been wanting to do a look with just my Lorac palette and I felt like it being this video, a neutral, natural summer look, this palette is perfect for it because you do have a bunch of cool tone shades, matte shades up here and then shimmery shades down here. But I love like the light brown, the gray, and then the nectar. Nectar I love. And then this purple right here, I feel it's perfect for like a light natural summer eye and then these for just lid shades and especially this one right there i just love this palette so this is what i'm going to use i'm going to pick up buff just to go ahead and set my lids well the primer not my lids set my lids And now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone using Snow. Going with my Sigma oh God, E40 brush and I'm going to pick up the shade Light Brown. Into my crease right here just circling it circling it yeah we'll call it that we'll go ahead and pick up the color nectar we're just gonna put that on the outer and inner part And then connect it up top. We're going to focus it more deep into the crease. Okay, I'm going to go with the color Plum. Delete. A little bit. And 
put that on the outer part. And the outer V actually. And then put a little bit of it in the inner corner. Kind of to, oh, just a tiny bit, just blend it a little up top. You know, we're going to go back in with nectar just to blend that out. I'm going to go with our finger and pick up the shade Mocha. It's like that. Twenty-five again, 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 <laughs> and blend that out. In a corner highlight, that's my brush. I'm gonna go in with a soft, what is it soft snow again. I am bam. It's gonna make you look more awake, and it's gonna make the look look. The look, look, <laughs> the look, look a lot more fresh. One with Stila's uh, Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Lionfish. And I'm just going to put that on uh, the top part of my eye, but focus it more on the outer part, making it thicker on the outer, and as I get to the middle, thinner. pencil brush and I'm going to go ahead and smudge out that liner. Now that that liner is there, I'm going to go ahead and tight line my line with this old cold crayon liner and it is in the shade Calling Your Buff. And with this Revlon Bold Lacquer Mascara, it is in the shade Black is Black and it is waterproof. This is perfect for summer. I think it's perfect for whatever, but summer especially because if you're sweating and it gets everywhere, it's just not cute. Like, can you not? I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes before. and see the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. So now I'm done with both eyes and now I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face because I did not apply my highlight earlier and I'm going in with Revlon's Peach Glow. These are the um, their highlighting palettes. It just looks like knees. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my cheekbones. Down my nose. I'm gonna keep it bow. For lipstick, I'm not gonna go in with the lip liner at all. Um, this lipstick, I actually really, really like it because it's a very natural lip. Whenever I just want it, like a 10 minute makeup routine with like concealer, a little bit of powder some mascara, a little bit of brows, maybe even no brows, um, I will use this lipstick. And it is Revlon's Rich Girl Red. It's number 830 and it's a shine lipstick. It's just a really, really pretty lipstick. It does add enough color. I actually feel like this lipstick looks better on darker tones. I mean, I do wear it, but I feel like it um, compliments darker toned females or males more because my friend she darker than me and it looks really really good on her she actually went out 
I bought this lipstick after she tried it on from from here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that. I'm gonna go ahead and with a piece of toilet paper and just take off a little bit of color just because I feel like it's too much especially for a neutral lip but when you take off a little bit it does add a very natural lip and I really really like this lip just by itself just by itself it looks great especially if you want a natural neutral makeup look I feel like it's a good choice for you okay and then especially for summertime you want to make sure that you have the settings right whether it be high end or low end this is the elf makeup mist and setting spray and then this is the Urban Decay all nighter makeup makeup setting spray they both work great I usually use this just because it's cheaper and I know I can go and buy out go and buy out only not at the store go and buy out more and then this i recently got uh i don't think i've used this yet so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this one just for the sake you know why not so then go ahead and set my makeup It's just going to ensure that your makeup lasts longer. Um, with this one, I I use this one usually when I want to freshen up, just even when I don't have makeup, because I usually get dry around my eyebrows, and then when I apply this, it takes away my dry patches. I don't know why, like, but to me, it's amazing, and it feels amazing as well. Um, it just... Like I said, it helps your makeup, and especially for the summertime when you feel all muddy and cruddy because of your makeup, you can go ahead and freshen up with either one, and you're good to go. Okay, guys, so that is it for my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you all did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and like it, and if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, make sure to subscribe down there or there, right? Am I right? Right, okay, and I will see you all next time. Bye!